Uh, hello guys. So this weekend's gonna be a bit of a weird one. Um, I'm gonna start it off with getting some cars washed because my wife's auto parts store's got a little charity car wash going on today. So we're gonna take three of the cars up, have them washed, work on the Rambler for a little while, and barring that the weather holds out, we've got a uh, cruise night tonight. So I think we're gonna get the uh, Celica convertible out. And do a few laps at cruise night and have a bite to eat while we're up there on Main Street. First off, take the old MG up. One, one car getting started, two more to go after this. So, first bath of the season for the poor little MG. Kids are doing a good job though. Alright, that's one done and home. Uh, time for number two. I think I'm going to have them wash off the... Uh, 86 next then depending how things goes we'll probably pull out the convertible have them do that too all right there's car three of three everything is now washed and ready to go We've got cruise night going on tonight so this should look good for that oh there we go good is good all right there we go mg has been washed 86 has been washed celica has been washed I think, uh, you know what, I might go ahead and grab the keys of the wife's truck and go ahead and run it up too. Have them do everything today. And then when we come back, we're going to have a talk about this. Not that you guys can see it on camera right now. We're going to have a talk about this and that I finally got the brake parts to finish this up hopefully. So we'll get to work on that after all this. All right, or I guess we're not going to take the truck up. I guess the wife uh, has already made other plans for cleaning that or already did clean it, I guess. So never mind. All right, so the goal is going to be here in a little bit to finally, finally finish the brakes on this dang thing. Uh, laying up here somewhere, here it is. I now have the correct wheel cylinder, so we can finally knock that out, get the brake put back together, get it put back on the car. Hope to God the hard line is not clogged, because it doesn't seem to be, because that would be the only hard line I have not replaced on this car, because it does not seem rusty. Does not appear to be in that bad of shape. And my God, I don't feel like routing it. <laughs> I know it seems like the lazy way out at this point, but it's where I'm at. I'm just done fighting with them. I want them done. I want them to work. If I got to replace it, I'll do it later. Or if it blows in the process, I'll replace it then. I'm just, I'm at a point where I'm done with it. And I know you guys are tired of seeing me work on the brakes on this dumb thing. I am tired of recording me working on the brakes on this dumb thing. So... Uh, hopefully today will be the end of it and then after that it is going to be finish hooking up the gas tank to the hard line hooking the hard line from the hard line to the uh the fuel pump so i can get some gas from the back to the front of this car and at that point honestly throw the wheels and tires on it and it should move out of the garage under its own power now i have since discovered that I need a new water pump, so I'm on the hunt for a new water pump because I was hoping maybe these bolts were loose, but that does not appear to be the case. It appears that the water pump itself is failing. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a rebuild kit or a whole new water pump yet. I haven't crossed that bridge quite yet. I'm looking into it, but the goal is as of right now to get this to where I can get it out of the garage so I can bring the Corolla in start getting a lot of the major work done on it and a lot of the work that needs done on this after that point is little odds and ends things that it doesn't need to be in the garage to have done so if i can manage to get it to that point where i can get it out of the garage we don't need to be in the garage to wrap these in blankets it doesn't need to be in the garage for me to tinker with the taillights. It, it doesn't need to be in the garage <laughs> for a lot of the remaining stuff on the car. It's all stuff I can work on here and there outside, film stuff on it. But it, this allows me to get my Corolla in here, start putting the subframe back together, get the motor dug out of the corner, get the transmission dug out from underneath the workbench, get it all put together, get it all in the car and be able to start enjoying all of my cars again and not just a couple of them so but yeah so that's the plan of action here in a couple 
Uh, I would be starting on it right now, but apparently the wife is picking me up and we're going to a flea market before I do anything today. So, yeah. But yeah, there's a rundown of what's coming, guys. Uh, so, bear with me for a little bit here and then we'll actually get to some real work. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, brake cylinder, or this wheel cylinder put back in the brake, get the brake put back together. Start getting it put back in the car. As soon as I figure out that I got, yep, I got all my tools laying right here already still. So, I didn't clean anything up from last week when I uh, started doing this and then couldn't. So, this is basically just a continuation to last week. Nothing's really been done since then. I haven't had time. But figure want to get it done today. Get some more done before we go to cruise night tonight. Hopefully it keeps trying to rain. So if it keeps raining, we might not be able to go. But if we do get to go, I'll take you guys along for the ride too for a little while. Try to film at least a little bit of the enjoyment. There we go. Last wheel cylinder in place. Oh, come on. Work with me here. Work with me. You're not gonna work with me, are you? Why you gotta be mean? Just don't be mean, just work with me. You're way too, why is this fighting me so much? Why do I feel like it's just fighting me to fight me? Because it is fighting me to fight me. This one is down where it needs to be. Why won't you come back where you need to be? Why do you want to be on top of me so bad? Yeah, this needs to go in here. You also need to go in here. go together like this. Why can't we be friends? Because you don't want to go back together right, that's why. Not understanding why this wants to set so high now all of a sudden. When it did not want to set that way before. There we go. Pad does not want to stay in place. It's causing a whole lot of headache. Oh. Also not helping that nothing wants to go in like it's supposed to. Of course, everything wants to fight. Nothing just wants to uh, do what it needs to do and go where it needs to go. It all wants to go other places instead. Like this, even though that is completely bottomed out where it needs to be. Still wants to set extremely high for some reason. Pad does not want to step here where it's supposed to be. There we go. Now if I can just get everything else to set in place like it's supposed to. Ah. There we go. Progress. That through there. That up through there. Come on. There we go. That there. Alright. Only thing left is this. Now. The only question is do I remember how it went on? That is definitely not the right way. There we go. That solves that problem. Mm 
There we go. All right. Don't exactly love the way that sits together, but it appears to be the only way it goes together. So there we go. There's that much. We will go ahead and throw the hard line on it while we're at it. Get that done. Get the copper washer on. Because I could do the rubber line onto it after it's on the car, but I got more room to do it right now. So we'll do it right now. There we go. Get that spun all the way on. Let me find my wrench to tighten it down. This one, there we go. Oh, there we go. Good and tight. There we go. The whole brake assembly is ready to go back together. It's a happy moment, even if it doesn't sound like it, because I am so tired of fighting with these dang brakes. All right, now. I'm not going to go crazy cleaning off a lot of the old grease because everything seemed like it was still in good shape. I did pack a little bit of new grease into the bearing and there will be a bunch of fresh grease inside the cup too so it will have uh, more than enough grease. I'm going to go ahead and get the back plate bolted back on. We're going to get all four of them on. Uh, finger tight, which I'm now worried I'm missing a bolt or missing a nut, I should say. But all the bolts are there. All the bolts are physically attached to the car. But uh, I feel like I'm missing one of the nuts. Matter of fact, I can tell I am missing one of the nuts. Ugh. Betting it's up on the workbench. Alright, one second while I find that uh, missing nut, guys. Alright, missing nut found. Missing nut put on. All right, now to get all these tightened down. I didn't do it. There we go. All those are on. All of them are good. Let's see here. Now, slide on the old drum, maybe. Oh, gotta get the pad in the right place again. There we go. That might work. Oh, there we go. Well, make sure there's nothing on there. Get this uh, 
yummy little bearing put on. There we go. Smear the blob of grease on the floor out of the way. There we go. Get the oldie washer put back on. And now the wheel nut. So I don't think my drums are quite tight enough. I think I gotta find the adjuster through the back side and wind them off. The other side did not seem like it had a lot of tension on it, so Let's see here if I can find that. Okay, where is the hole for the cotton pin again? I can't see it because it's full of grease. Kind of hard to put a cotter pin through a hole when you can't see the hole. There we go. There it is. Yes, I know a rubber mallet probably was not the best tool for that job, but it'll get the job done. Also, not seen. Ugh. Not seen any of my pliers anywhere either. Well, it's always something, guys. Never have all my tools with me. Here we go. Pliers. Maybe. There we go. Get this one bent up and over this way. Get this one bent down that way. All right, there's that. Like I said, It'll have some extra grease to eat off of too. I know that's way more than it needs, but better uh, better to have extra than not enough. Come on. Why am I not going in? Because I think I'm hitting the head of my cotter pin, maybe. There we go. There we go. I'd say there was a little, uh, little extra grease. There we go. The brakes aren't dragging, which for the minute, I'm going to take as a good thing. I'm going to try to just get them to self-adjust a little bit instead of me uh, fighting with all the adjusters. Just because right now, obviously, there is no fluid anywhere in the uh, system for the brake lines. So, 
I don't want it to start off real hard. Where is the wrench for the lower one? There we go. All right. Now the one tight. Oh, there we go. We'll use a little wrench here. Again. There we go. Brake line is connected. Everything's good. Like I said, I gotta get a new uh a new ball joint for this side. But for the purposes of right now, it'll be fine. That ball joint is completely toast. I mean I could maybe grease that and get it to firm back up a little bit, but my god, it's nowhere near worth it. So, that being said, everything else in here doesn't look too bad. I think uh, trying to find a way to lower this thing is going to be a little fun. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Like it is set about two inches lower than it is right now, at least. So, now on to the next fun part. Bleeding these brakes. Alright guys, the brakes are bled. And uh, I started putting the wheels and tires on. You can see here, got one of them on. You notice there are uh, some shiny studs sticking through there, and I'll explain that in a second. Um, but I figure before I get any farther with this, I'm going to go ahead and get the fuel line done while the car's still up in the air. Because that's going to take a second to get to some of that stuff to get it done, and I need to be under the car anyway. So, yeah. But the reason why you're seeing the shiny studs on that side and not on this side yet is because I don't think it's been shown in any of the other videos. I gotta run some adapters on this for right now because the only wheels I have that fit it are the wheels and tires off my wife's old van. And the offset is totally wrong for this car. So the only way to make up that difference for right now is these. Um, that being said, I have a buddy with a very crusty looking set of Keystone Classics that are, other than the chrome on them being bad, are in good shape. So I think I'm picking those up to put on here. And, but right now those don't have tires on them. So even if I do get them, I still would have anything to run. These get it down off of the, uh, off of the jack stands and mobile. So... While those are going to suck to have on it for a while, they're better than nothing. Um, and honestly, while the car is in the condition it's in, it's not driving on the road anyway. This is more or less so I can move it around the property without it being too much of a hassle. These are the ones that came off of it. They literally, I, I step on it wrong and it starts leaking air. Matter of fact, it might be completely flat now. Oh, nope, there it goes. But yeah, that, it's just, it's not worth the effort to throw money at these wheels because I've, A, I've only got two of them. Uh, B, these tires are shot. So it's not worth just taking and getting valve stems put in them. It's just not worth the effort. So, being an import guy, I had wheel spacers just laying around that happened to bolt onto the car. And, well, we're just going to go with it for now. So, yeah. All right, now to find what I did with the uh, fuel line and start hooking that up. Well, found the fuel line. Problem is now though, I uh, I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any clamps. So I guess we're going to go down to the parts store and pick up some clamps. As soon as I remember to grab my hat, I'm not going anywhere without my hat. I feel weird without my hat on. Ugh. All right. The uh, the wash on the convertible ended up water spotting real bad, so that kind of sucks for tonight. But oh well, it'll be fine. I have a feeling cruise night's not going to go over all that great because it keeps raining on and off. So I don't know if the convertible is even going to get out for it or not. See, the eight six looks good though. Nice minivan cleaned off okay. 
just for the uh, neighbor's tree to start dumping shit on it again already. And the MG looks good. The MG always looks good. So, yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go get these clamps. Need to clean out the inside of this thing too. This poor car gets used as the parts hauler all the damn time. So, it's always dirty. Ah. Let's see here. Where'd the key go? Auto keys. And I don't have the key on here. God dang it. MG key acquired and we are getting ready to go. Hopefully this time I can actually go this time. Alright, have all those now. So I can now do this. Oh. Back into the garage. Yeah, and if you guys couldn't tell, it's raining again. So I am not holding my breath for cruise night tonight. It's not looking good. But hey, that just means more time to get this thing done. The hope is, is I can at least get this thing to where I can move it for you guys by the end of this video. But, uh, all right. I guess the next task is going to be get ready to climb under there and take two of these with me and a screwdriver and get to work. All right, not the easiest thing to see or do, so I did it off camera. Sorry about doing so much off camera today, guys, but it is what it is. New, uh, new hard line or new soft line ran from the tank to the original hard line. The original hard line I blew through and it does seem to be okay. So hopefully that is still the case. Because <sighs> I really don't want to have to replace it too. If I got to replace that, that'll be the end of this video because I am not going to uh, lay down here and get soaked in gas and buy a line I don't got money for at the moment. So yeah. Yeah, now to go up underneath the hood, get that one done. All right, and due to my vertical challengeness, we are going to go ahead and get the uh, get the front wheels put on and get the front end lower down so I can actually reach everything under the hood to be able to uh, do the front brake or do the front. Uh, fuel line because right now I can't reach it and I don't want to climb under the car just to put a fuel line on that I can do from the top of the car. Why? Because I'm short and I hate being made felt to be short. So here we go. Yeah like I said guys these these are only temporary. As soon as I get the proper wheels for this thing these are not staying on. I don't even like the fact that I need to use them on this car to do this but um kind of a, at this point it is it's a is what it is situation just to make it to where I can get the car removable so if I would have had to spend more money on doing it this way than I am I probably wouldn't be doing it this way but I mean this is turning into a uh, use what I have situation as I have it here I also think I need to pull this back apart I think I have this one just a hair bit too tight. Um, it's either I got this one a hair bit too tight or I got the other one a hair bit too loose. I'm not sure. I feel like once it's moving a little bit, then this will loosen back up some. So, all right, get ready for some noise, guys. All right, time for a wheel. More rubber than this car was ever meant to have. So, and it's not like these are a crazy tire either, guys. These are only a 215, 65, 16. So they are taller than this car needs, but um, they're not exactly any wider than stock. It's just, uh, 
This, the offset of these wheels is just terrible for the car. But they're what I had laying around, so got to use what I got. Before we go driving it real far, yes, it will have another lug nut front and or on both sides because right now it's missing one, I think, on each wheel. There we go, got that done. Now we'll get it down off the jack stands in the front. All right, guys, time to get down off the jacks, at least in the front, anyway. Do the fuel line and then do the back ones and we'll be done all right so fuel line is now hooked up from the hard line to the fuel pump and from the fuel pump to the carburetor so and i've got like five gallons of the finest 87 octane i could get we shall see if we can get it primed and get it to start <laughs> Crank it a little bit and see if we can get some fuel up. See if it looks like. Not seeing any fuel up here yet, but let's try uh, seeing if there's any fuel in the bowl, maybe. Maybe getting it to fire will help a little bit. Give her. Give her a splash down the carburetor here, maybe. See if that'll help, because I know I got some more. Got some more fuel. Uh, hang on, guys. Now that I got the carb coated in gas, <laughs> see if it'll fire. I did something. Now, the fun part's gonna be see if we can actually get gas out of the tank up to the carb, though. Nothing yet. All right. I'm going to see if I can get this done off camera, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, for some reason, I cannot get fuel up to the carburetor. Not sure why yet, because uh, the fuel pump was working fine. So I guess I'm going to have to pull that hard line back off. Or pull the line off up here, blow some air through it again, make sure it's not clogged, and go from there again. So, But it is time for cruise night, and the weather is now looking better. So I think we're going to get the car out and go to cruise night for a little while. So this may have just turned into a uh, tomorrow problem. Yeah. See you guys at cruise night. And we're up at cruise night. Got the old convertible out. We're parked for the minute. But there's uh, definitely some other cool cars up here where we're parked anyway. And it's a, another fringe truck. Here hanging out with them for a little while, kind of uh, enjoying some of the cars driving around. There's a lot of people parked and just kind of watching at the moment. All right, guys, we are back from cruise night. 
Uh, that was a fun time. I didn't record a lot because for some reason up on Main Street, it was really windy. Um, it's not very windy here at my house, which is odd because I'm not that far away from Main Street, but it was really windy up there. So I tried to record a little bit and it's like there's just a lot of wind noise and there's just a lot of traffic up there right now. So there's a lot of noise in general, but I got to thinking about it. I think I know why I'm not getting gas up here at the moment before I go crazy tearing a bunch of stuff up. I think with the rear end being as high as it is currently compared to the front and there not being a ton of gas in the gas tank, I don't think the pickup in the gas tank's actually in fuel yet. So I got a feeling I'm going to need to get the back end of the car down so I can get fuel. At least that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm going to do next. We'll see how that goes. All right, one tire to go. Mounted the other one off camera just to get it done. Figured I'd do this one on camera quick. Oh, giving them a little ways away from the camera, but still. Oh. Heavy wheels are heavy. Man, these things are sunk in. Is that actually clear? I hope that clears. I don't think I've ever actually tried to move it with these on. I might need to put spacers on the back too. Hopefully I don't need to put spacers on the back. I don't feel like digging out enough lug nuts to do all that. are on now to uh, open the garage door put a jack behind it and drop it down and now to get this thing dropped down Officially, the first it is set on all four wheels in a couple months. So yeah, I feel like she's a little nose high. Oh no, there's a lot of stuff sitting on the trunk too, so that's probably not helping. But yeah, all right. So now that that's done, I guess the next thing we're gonna do try getting gas up to the carburetor again. See how that goes. Still don't look like 
there's any gas yet. Not liking it, guys. I'm not liking it. Let's see how much gas is left in this can. Let's see if maybe starting it this time is uh gonna help any. Maybe I just really don't have enough gas in the gas tank too. That could be a problem. too much gas in the carb. I should at least get it to fire for a second. I'm going to unhook the fuel line, try blowing some air through it, make sure it's actually going all the way through the car, and I'll bring you guys back when I get that done. All right. We are back, and she has gas. All it was was it wasn't wanting to prime very well. So uh, I had unhooked the hose. Well, here, I'll shut it off, and I'll talk. Let's shut it off, and then we'll talk. All right. So all I ended up doing was I pulled the hose off down here. I blew back through it to make sure that there was no clog in the line. Uh, not only did I hear gas gurgling back there, but it even shot some out of the neck. So, therefore, I know there's no clog. Um, so I left the line unhooked here, blocked off a majority of the neck with the towel, put a little bit of compressed air through the tank, primed the system, Got it to start flowing a nice little stream of gas <laughs> up here and hurried up and connected the line back up. So the system's now at least primed for the minute and uh, I have gas everywhere. So now, theoretically, this car has brakes, this car has gas, this car has headlights, it's got wheels and tires. It should be if I clean it off and I move the van, this thing should move and stop under its own power now. I think uh think you guys get get think you guys know what's getting ready to happen next.
then just in case any was anybody was wondering, I do have the other headlights. So, oh, see, I think that is everything clean off of it. Nope, I lied. Got some more towels. That's trash. That's trash. All right. I think that is everything cleaned off of it. Now, I gotta go inside, grab the key for the wife's van, move that, and then try to move this. All right, guys, I'm gonna shut the hood, and I'm gonna try moving it for the first time. So if it goes wrong, you guys are gonna see it. If it goes right, you guys are gonna see it. <laughs> see how this goes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. All right, let's go get in the car. I am uh, more than a little happy about this. See if I can get you guys propped up on the seat where you can see anything. All right, there you go. You guys can see something at least. All right, I know you guys can see something. I don't know how exciting any of it will be, but you can at least see me do it. I have no clue what any gear is in this car. Also, no, I don't have taillights.
All right, guys. That could have went smoother on my end, but hey, it moved. It does what it's supposed to do. All right, guys. I'm going to call this a success for the video. This is the best this thing's done so far. As you guys can hear, there's definitely something clunking up front. Uh, the water pump's making a ton of noise. The clutch, definitely you can tell it's not been used in a long time. So there's a lot going on that still needs messed with. But, it moves under its own power. And it seems to run well. The radiator steam in at the moment. I don't think that's because it's hot. I think that's because it's a new radiator and this is the probably the most heat that's been put through it so far. Because this is the first the engine's been under a load the whole time it's been in the car. So, I'm going to count this, like I said, I'm going to count this as a success for a video for once. It was a video where you guys didn't see me fail at the brakes. You didn't see me fail to drive it. You didn't see anything fail to work. It actually did what it's supposed to. Ah! That in itself is such a stress relief for this car. It's not even funny. Because this whole time, I have been fighting that whole thing. It just And not even knowing if the transmission was going to work. Had a rough idea it was going to work. And the one time I threw it in gear within the air, it sounded atrocious. But that's because the drums were trying to fall out. So, uh, this is this has been nothing but wind for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm extremely happy with it. It's been a really good day. I got to get the convertible out and go for a cruise for a little while. I wish I would have got more of that on camera for you guys, but like I said, for some reason during cru up there at the cruise, it was really windy, and then with all the traffic and especially all the motorcycles, everyone on a motorcycle up there at cruise night has to uh, test out the loudness of their pipes while they're there. So it it's impossible to record and have anything good. So, but we'll be doing more on this probably next weekend. Uh, I think next weekend we're going to start focusing on getting all the lights to work. Uh, gonna see maybe if I can't source a water pump this week, and maybe we'll. I think we're gonna tear back into this side again. I think I got the wheel bearing a little too tight, uh, so I'm gonna try loosening that off to see if that helps anything. Um, yeah, I think next weekend's video is gonna be a bunch of little odd projects on it. See what we can get done, and see if we can get it a little bit closer to being a streetcar again. Yeah, but for now, it was a great video. At least I think it was. Hope you guys enjoy it when I get it get it out to you. There she is. The Rambler's a runner. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, it's about the adventure, not the destination. Have a good day.